Guys, this is Captain Frank Hawks, and I, I just, what I want to, oh, how the fuck do I put this? Today, I, I want to reiterate my fucked up video. A while back, I did a video in the verse, and, um, I think because of its crappiness that, um, That honestly, um, a lot of you didn't go and listen to what I had to say. Um, let's just, let's look at chips. I know we've looked at chips, but it, it is along the subject matter. Okay? And, and you need to know this data. Because there are... There are some people who are not talking about this. And it's either they haven't noticed it yet or, excuse me, they're aware of it, don't want to talk about it. And I've got very little time to talk about this. Um, here, let's, let's do game packages, okay? Let's do game packages and, and chit-chat about this. This... It's not the full and complete data. You should never look at this and be like, cool, bam. Okay, let's let's go into the Reliant Core. Okay. Six months insurance. What six months insurance means is six months inside of gameplay. And I know that may seem like a long time because you're not regularly going to play Star Citizen. You, like most gamers, will healthily turn to other games for other reasons. Star Citizen will fill quite the vast niche. Of course it will. Uh, it's a first-person shooter. It's a racer. It's a space sim. It is a uh, planet-side sim. It, it is everything that you could ever want from a game. Okay? But at the same time, there are certain things lacking from this game because and you know a certain paid employee has clearly informed us that there is more enough money in cloud imperium's bank accounts to finish out the game and pay their employees well very well including chris roberts and the game be completed and yet, we still get shafted with six months insurance. You, you think I'm lying. Okay, let's, let's pick another ship. Let's freelancer her. No, let's, let's do this cutlass. Let's see here. Six months insurance. Six months insurance. Six months, this will be gone. How about this? Six months insurance. It'll be gone. Constellation Andromeda. Of course, it's got to have lifetime insurance, right? It's a big purchase. This is a 275 United States dollars package, right? Six months insurance. This alone is not worth the value of this. For everything that you get that goes along with it, this by itself cuts this price down by two thirds. Because this is where the core value is. How long do you have that ship? If you buy a package, your ship should be permanently yours until you sell it or melt it. Okay? Let's go into um, standalone ships, okay? Let's, let's look at these same ships. So we looked at, at, I think we looked at the Alpha. $30, six months insurance. Eh. Here, um, Avengers Titan, six months insurance. Not worth the price. Let's see, we looked at a Cutlass Black, 
six months insurance, not worth the price. Hey, there's the freelancer, right? Six months insurance, not worth the price. Uh, Constellation Andromeda, six months insurance, way fucking not worth the price. Anything that has six months of insurance on it shouldn't be worth anything over 50 to $75. Okay, I'm talking about packages and standalone ships. And the reason why is because this right here, you pay this and you let this go to term, all of a sudden you don't have a ship and you don't get that money back. Okay, it's rigged, it is fucking rigged, and I mean, I've, <laughs> I have invested $25 at a time up to about $300 in this game. My wife, for a birthday present, gave me $200 so that I could get a caterpillar, which I wish like hell I never fucking melted. I came to this game. I came to this game believing in its vision and in the people who were responsible for the vision. I came to this game with the belief that I would be able to properly participate in that vision. If you have, according to the person responsible, uh, for divulging the information three times the amount of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars. The last I heard, something like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is more starting capital for any game ever created that I'm aware of. If you know better, please put it in the comments. Of our money. And the best that we can get is six months insurance. I can't find any ships that have lifetime insurance on them. And that brings me to another subject matter. I have over $300 an investment in this game. But if a ship comes out that is brand new, that is under that value of $300, I cannot purchase a brand new ship with it. Because my investment, that my previous investment into this game, does not count for shit. My time... My hard-earned money into this game does not constitute anything. Mr. Roberts, I direct this question directly to you. We have spent over $100,000 into your dream. And you have treated us like we are not participant in that dream. You have treated us as though we do not matter. Mr. Roberts, I expect a response. Because what I am going to title this video as is... Do not play Star Citizen. It's not worth it. That will be the title of this video. Mr. Roberts, when does the reciprocation begin? How much money exactly do you need? At this point in game, every ship available for purchase should have lifetime insurance on it. Because we, the people who started off in the, in the first wave, in the second wave, investing in your game, we are the guys who are going to be here long term. We are the guys 
who deserve special VIP treatment. We are the guys who should not be singled out so that your Eva Kati are made up of the special click of the people who are regularly subscribing to you, who are regularly investing money in you. I am a subscriber. I am giving you $10 a month of my hard-earned money and my previous over $300 that I have invested in your game does not count as shit. Never in my life of test playing alpha games, never in my life of testing beta games or testing early access games that are in the final stages of their creation. Never as a gamer a day before in my life have I been so deeply disrespected. I want that Carrick. You have no idea how badly I do. And at the same time, I don't know if I want to be participant to this sham again. I don't know if I want to be participant to this con anymore. I'm starting to think that I want my money back. I'm starting to think I should invest in something else. A close second is better than nothing at all. And I hear, I hear Elite Dangerous calling my goddamn name. Because I already know somebody there who plays. I already know people there who look at what you have done here and how much time you're taking to do it and how much money you're asking from us. Nothing for sale should be over five hundred dollars you, you think i haven't heard about your twenty seven hundred dollar your two thousand seven hundred dollar package and, and how ridiculous that is willing to bet whatever ships that come with that they have six months if we invest in you that investment if we subscribe to you, our subscription should count as something. When we participate in what you're doing, it should count for something. And at some point, you'll still make money. You will still make money. But the reciprocation has to start somewhere. And if it does not start somewhere soon, your dream is gonna crash and burn. Trust me, buddy. As a hobby, hopefully one day, to turn into a business, I make my own tabletop role-playing games. And I have 20 years of experience of poorly investing in people, of poorly investing in in the game and in that dream and watching it crash and burn. And that is the path you have set yourself on now, Mr. Robert. Sincerely a fan. Guys, have fun, be safe, take care of one another. This is Captain Frank Hawks signing off.